In the end times, people will dance late into the night. Muslim men will resemble unbelieving men. Muslims will slowly, but deeply, appropriate the traditions and ways of the Christians. Believers turn into unbelievers, and will sell their religion for non-essential things of this world. Women who will be dressed, yet will appear to be naked. They will seduce men, and will be inclined towards them. with something on their heads that looks like the humps of camels, leaning to one side. Clothed but unclothed. You know, some of the swimwear if you look at, or some of the gym wear if you look at, they, 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 they like, like, who are you? It's, it's not clothing. Kasiyatun ariyat. Clothed but naked. Or if you look a more moderate tafsir, if you like, clothing will be very tight, or it will be see-through, or there will be cuts and slits around the sides and so on and so forth, so that although it pretends it doesn't show, it shows. And the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wa tammu taslim, that they will not smell the fragrance of Jannah Although the smell of Jannah can come from so far, yet these people will be made forbidden for them is that smell, that fragrance of Jannah. People will walk in the marketplace with their thighs exposed. This sign is very obvious, especially in Western countries. Keep in mind, these events are very recent. Just a hundred years ago, even in these countries, the women wore modest clothes. The Prophet said, most certainly people from my nation will consume liquor, which they will describe with some other name. This is a prediction, and a reference to the different brands of alcohol that are available today. Liquor stores are strewn throughout the city of Oman. By law, bars and liquor stores must be owned and run by Christians. No Muslims allowed. However, Muslims are perfectly free to patronize them, and they do. Our customers are both Christians and Muslims. We don't really have problems here. There will be many women of childbearing age who will no longer give birth. Women continue to delay having children, according to new data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The average age for first-time mothers increased from 24 in 2000 to 26 in 2014. The Prophet said these women will enter the workforce out of love for this world. And this is why they will delay having children. Researchers believe the trend of waiting to have children will continue as more women focus on career before starting a family and as they pursue fertility options like egg freezing. In the end times, there will be snubbing and standoffishness among people. There will be an abundance of food, much of which has no blessing in it. This is clearly a reference to fast food, which has absolutely no nutritional value. Wealth will increase so much, so that if a man were given 10,000, he would not be content with it. But the wealth will be shared out only among the rich, with no benefit to the poor. The rich will get richer and richer. Today, the top 1% wealthy people have half of all the wealth in the world. Western corporations are plundering developing countries. The decoration of mosques will be a matter of pride and competition. Abundance of police squads and oppressive officials who wield whips the size of the tails of cattle. Men will begin to look like women. And women will begin to look like men. And there are many signs that should be troubling to people. The Prophet predicted same-sex marriage. I mean, that's a sound hadith. 
He said the end of time will not come until a man marries a man and a woman marries a woman. For today, Ireland became the first country in the world to pass a constitutional referendum allowing same-sex marriage. This is the moment same-sex supporters... And we have no evidence in human history that that was ever... We have no evidence that any culture has ever sanctioned same-sex marriage. But he said it will be one of the signs of the end of time. He said you will see nikah al-rajal al-rajal wa nikah al-mar'ati al mar'a And nikah here means clearly marriage because homosexuality existed. So he wasn't talking about homosexuality or, or, or musahaka. He was talking about marriage. <laughs> You know, he predicted that the, the, the buildings of Mecca would surpass the mountains. Who could have thought of that in the 7th century of Arabia? Who could have thought of that? He predicted that people would go out of their houses with uh, things on their thighs that would tell them what was happening back in their families. He said that people would talk to Shiraku Na'al, which in Arabic, Shiraku Na'al is this. That's the, that is what a Shiraku Na'al is which is the universal sign today for telephone. And he said a man will talk to his shiraku na'al. You know, that's how people say it, right? The, the Arabs call that shiraku na'al. The Prophet ﷺ predicted many, many things that have come true. That in the seventh, in the seventh century in Arabia, it just would not have been possible to pr predict those things or, or they wouldn't even occur to people. The Prophet said, children born outside of marriage will become commonplace. In Colombia, more than 8 out of every 10 children are born to unwed mothers. But the actual percent of U.S. births to unmarried women has gone up a lot. 2002, 34% of all births. 2013, 40.6% of all births in the U.S. In 1960, 5% of children entered the world without a mother and father married to each other. By 1980, it was 18%. By 2000, it had risen to 33%, and 15 years later, the number reached 41%. The prophet said, in the end times, obesity would become prevalent. Well, the explosion of overweight and obese people in the developing world is largely down to the emerging economies, those that have, uh, have gone through a transition from being low-income economies to middle-income economies in the last generation. And that has produced a large middle class of people who have rising incomes and they can buy the foods they want and they're undertaking more sedentary lifestyles. Smog will appear over cities because of the evil that they are doing. India's second largest city, New Delhi, remains shrouded in dangerously thick smog. Problem affecting a huge swathe of northern China at the moment with a pollution cloud hanging over this country from the Russian border in the far northeast all the way down to the central cities. The prophet said great distances will be traversed in short spans of time. and voices will be raised in mosques. Rain will be acidic or burning. Acid rain is any form of precipitation with high levels of nitric and sulfuric acids. It can occur in the form of snow, fog, and even dry materials that settle to earth. Most acid rain is caused by human activities. that there will be dishes and they'll be communicating constantly and then people will break the ties of kingship. The word for dishes is literally a dish and the word that's used now is the word for satellites and they're dishes and they communicate. Academic journal that says there is a correlation between people sitting at home watching satellite TV and not having communal family ties anymore. These signs leave absolutely no doubt 
about the prophethood of Muhammad, may the blessings of Allah be upon him. It's impossible somebody could predict all these signs 1400 years ago, except a prophet of God. These hadith were recorded thousands of years ago, in manuscripts that have been carbon dated back thousands of years by scientists. So nobody can even claim that these signs were made up to fit current events. What these signs also prove is that there is absolutely no doubt left that we are living in the end times. All the minor signs that have been prophesied have come to pass right in front of our eyes as you saw in this video. This means we are on the brink of seeing the major signs of the end times. The real question is not when is the last hour. The question is... What have you prepared for it?